Dear black women, if you encounter one of these three types of white men, just run away. Run away as fast as you can. So let's start with the ones that basically use you as like some sort of experiment. And I don't necessarily mean trying to experiment with you sexually, trying to see like what it's like with a black woman in the bedroom. That's not what I mean. I mean the white men who try to see what they can get away with when it comes to you. What boundaries they can push, what boundaries they can test. And in particular, I want you to pay attention to the language that they use. And what I mean by that is that there are definitely white men who date black women and they try to say things to you, the black woman, that they wouldn't to black people that they don't know or to just black people that they are not pursuing a romantic relationship with. So this comes out a lot in the jokes that they make and you really want to pay attention to those jokes. Now I'm a jokester. I have a very high threshold, high tolerance for like inoffensive, <laughs> inappropriate jokes. That's just me. That is literally just me. But when I'm getting to know someone, I am really mindful of the way in which they speak to me if they're like a man, a white man. I'm very, very mindful because what sometimes happens is that they make really inappropriate jokes to test you. And if you don't establish your comfort level with those jokes from the very beginning, then the more comfortable that they get with you, the more uncomfortable you're gonna get with them as they begin to make even more offensive jokes that just like make your skin crawl. So you just wanna be very mindful and be mindful of the ways in which they make jokes and who are they making fun of? Who are they poking fun at? Who are they teasing? Are they teasing black people? Are they teasing you? Are they teasing you on your features, your black features? Are they making fun of your hairstyles? Are they making fun of any facial features or body features that you have? Just be mindful of the language and early on set boundaries. And if they just jump out the gate with inappropriate out of pocket comments, then it's just, what's, what's the point? What is the point? Now look, we can all agree or disagree or agree to disagree on politics, on political leanings, and on political opinions. But I just encourage black women out there to be mindful, to be wary of ultra conservative white men. And this is the reason that I say that. I mean conservative in the ways in which they give sympathy and empathy to other groups of people. Are they sympathetic? Are they empathetic to other groups of people? To people who don't exist in their sphere? To people who are outside of their um, understanding of this world and of this life and of this nation that we live in? And the reason that I say this is if a man is not sympathetic or empathetic to others, to other marginalized groups, to people who are not in his world view, who do not have like a leading role in his world view, in his sphere of influence, or just in his life is what I'm getting at. Then it is going to be very difficult for, or not difficult, but then it is going to be very unlikely that he will be able to have sympathy or empathy for you and your people, for black people. And I just want to warn you of that because that is a thing. If he cannot support, sympathize or empathize with other marginalized groups, just know that your group may fall in line with those other groups and there may come a time when that is an issue. So I'm not saying it will be an issue, I am just saying to be very mindful. And then last but not least, you girl, 
with the other two i can at least like give them the benefit of the doubt and say like you know just be mindful just be careful but with this last one just get out of there just run away delete the number do not talk to this man anymore it is not worth it let him get through what he needs to get through and then maybe down the line you can get back in connection with him but like right now cut him off and that is the man who is lacking self-esteem lacking self-confidence and who is just like an emotional train wreck now do not get me wrong we are human beings men are human beings <laughs> Men are human beings. They're like a different type, but no. Men are human beings. People are people. We are not going to be strong. We are not going to be stable. We are not going to always be okay. We're not going to always be okay, and that is okay. But what I mean is you do not want to entangle yourself with a man. What I mean is that you do not want to entangle yourself with a man whose like entire personhood is consumed and just like defined by their lack of confidence and their emotional vulnerability and fragility. Not just vulnerability, but fragility, instability. And the reason I say this is not to bash men who are in touch with their feelings like it's not negotiable for me. If you're a man and you're with me, you're going to be in touch with your feelings. You're going to be able to communicate your feelings. You're going to be able to experience your feelings. And you are going to allow me the space to feel and communicate my feelings to you. Emotionally intelligent men are a non-negotiable. We are done with men who cannot communicate their feelings through means other than just silence or anger. Like, that's over with. We need to use words. We are adults, let's use our words. And at the same time, you do not want a man who is emotionally unstable because if you're a heterosexual woman, then honestly, the only purpose of being with a man is so that you can be a woman. And what I mean by that is, if your man's not good, then you have to be good. If your man's not strong, then you have to be strong. And I believe that black women should be resilient. I think that we should be elastic. But I am tired of us having to be strong and having to carry the weight of a community on our backs. Like, those days are done with. And, you know, again, like, if your man can't, to some degree, be like an anchor, be a rock in your life, that you don't really need him because you can be the man in your life. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you have to play the role of the man in your life, then you can just be that man in your life. If he's not adding, then he is taking away. And it goes vice versa. It goes vice versa. If she's not adding, then she's taking away. There's really no situation where it's just like platonic. We are either giving or we are taking. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching tonight's video. I apologize for all the noises, but look, your girl is in the city now. She is in the city. She's a city girl. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but again, I apologize for the noises. I will try to film at a different time next time to hopefully combat some of that. But until next time, stay safe, be well, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, everyone.